is Land to Row. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all how I make the patch skirts. If you know, then you know. If you don't, then it's on my TikTok. It's on my TikTok. Basically, I uploaded a video making a patch skirt and people were asking me, how did you do it? I need a more in-depth tutorial. So this is it. Okay, so this is just the intro whatever, but let's get straight into the skirt and how I make it. First thing you want to do, take a pair of pants, a pair of jeans, and you want to cut the legs off until it looks like this. And if it's too long or too short, that can be fixed because it's going to be a patch skirt. So if it's too, if you cut it too short, then that's fine. We can just, you know, fix it and I'll show you how to do that throughout the video. And if you make it too long, then of course you can just cut it shorter. Okay, so um first like i said you just want to make sure this is the base that you're going to be working with now what else i have here is this this you may not have but you may, may need to get you can uh make this yourself it's literally just a bag of denim scraps but basically this is come from like cutting jeans and you just cut certain pieces like this would be like uh this part of the jeans from a different pair so if you don't have a bag of scraps then that's fine. You could just take a separate pair of jeans and make your own scraps. But anyway, I digress. So if you have a bag of scraps or once you get your bag of scraps, what you wanna do is you wanna start doing placement. See how this is so long. You could keep it this long or you could cut it and then you could place this here. So it looks, it would look like that. And then you would cut this part off or you could just keep it long and then just do random placement like this. And then it would come together at the end, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to cut this and put it like that because I feel like that looks better. On this pair of pants, the stitching is kind of like a gold color and the stitching on this one is like a very light beige. I don't know if you can see it on here, but it doesn't matter because what I'm trying to get to is that the stitching color, when you're making uh, patch pants or patch skirt or patch whatever, it doesn't matter unless you want it to all be the same color but if you, unless you if you don't care about that like i don't then it doesn't matter okay so like i said so now you just want to cut it you would, i would cut this and then i would get another piece and i would put this one like maybe here and then i would get this one also the color of the denim don't matter either at some point but also it can okay so i'm, I'm gonna show you what i mean so if this was to be like this right this was to be like this and then these are two different colored denim. Then the whole skirt would be like different colored denims. And that's that's a look in itself. But if you don't want to go for that, then try and go for like making sure, try and go for like making sure that all of the denim is kind of the same color or all the same color. But that's to each his own. Mine is going to be, well, this skirt that I'm making now is going to be uh, different colors of denim. The first skirt I made was all one color. The second skirt I made was two colors and this one is gonna be all different colors of denim. So it's gonna be a little different and I'm gonna add different stuff on it than I did from the first and the second and third pair. But I'm gonna get back with y'all when I'm at the second step or when I start putting the pieces on so I can show y'all how to put the pieces on the skirt. Yeah. Okay, so I began to sew the pieces and like I said, I did end up moving stuff around. This is where I am now. I'm gonna the camera here. Okay. Okay, so this is what we have now. So I am, I did decide to sew the pieces on instead of gluing it. If you are going to glue the pieces instead of sewing, the glue that I use is the E600 or the E300 or something. I don't know, I'll, I'll put it in the description. You can go pick it up from Walmart or Michaels or, you know, Joanne's fabric store. Most uh, craft stores will have the glue, but anyway. So you just sew the piece on. Okay, so so um, to make sure that the thread doesn't show uh, or barely shows, I make sure that I when I do it, um, I'll zoom in here. Well, I'll just bring the camera closer. So, I make sure that, okay, so this is your starting point. What you wanna do is you wanna go directly next to it, almost in the same loop. Go in and then 
I come out this way with a gap. You can tell it's a gap here. And then you just pull. So the other side, the other side will look like this. And this side will look like this. So, okay, so this is what it looks like now. I've placed some pieces on here. I've used one of the scraps to cut out like a star or whatever. And these are the only two pieces that so far that are darker than the rest of the skirt. This is like a different color denim than this, but it's still like technically the same thing. But these two are the only ones that's like really dark for right now. This one is a totally different color than any of the other denim. So this is really going to be a patch skirt for real. Like anyway, yeah, anyway. Um, then I, I did add like my tag. This is for L2. It says L2R, which is Lynn to Raw. And I think I used like, I did like a little eyeball. You can't, I don't know if you can really tell on here. And then I put it on using this, this chain. In the back, I haven't done anything to the back right as of right now, other than cut this slit. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but yeah so the inside of the shirt the skirt should look like this or a little bit like this but no one is going to see that anyway because we're going to cover that later with the liner or whatever i did cut off the it was like a little tag right here that said wrangler and also the label right here i cut both of those off because i added my own tag which fell off i'm gonna have to re-put it on but yeah so this is where we are as of right now and i'm about to add these to the skirt and then i'll show you how i'm adding it and then i'll show you the result okay so i don't know if this is a good angle but anyway uh so this is how i've been putting the chains on um so i would start from with the needle, the needle here i will go from inside to the outside as soon as i find it And then back in again to make sure that it doesn't come loose. I will lock it in. This time, using the tiny I have to make sure that they can fit into the holes of the chain. Because I always get going to use them for the sewing part. Okay, so at this point, it's locked in. So this is the chain that I have. I already cut it however long I wanted it. And I think for this one, I might go like this. No. Maybe I could go like this. Okay, so the way I put it on, if you just put it into one loop, it is it it's been coming apart for me. It just goes straight through and nothing happens. So what I do, I go in one. And then I go back into the next one. And I do this for like three or four loops. You see how now, you see how it came loose? Like it's only in one of the loops right now. Or is it still in both? No, it's only in one of the loops right now because sometimes they come loose. That's why you have to do three. That's why I do three or four loops. So that's two. Nope, that's one again, because it came out loose again. Okay, so that's about three or four loops, and then I just pull, try and get it as close as I can to the actual the denim, and then I go back through those loops, but instead I'm also going through the fabric too, not only the chain. Still going through the loops to make sure that it doesn't 
come apart later. And it didn't black period, I actually think it's weird because if you do this and you're using black period as I am, it didn't black period showing at the end, you know, we just cover it more because it's a high skirt, so you know, that's much. And it's only a couple of times, and that's how I put it on there. So now it's on there. So then I turn it inside out, and then I just uh, in the in the thread by tying it with the other end like so. And when you're sewing the skirt, make sure not to sew through the pocket unless you really don't care about having pockets. Because I know on my first skirt, I did sew through the pocket. But on um, this one, I made sure that the pockets are not sewn through too much to where you can't use them. And I also made sure that the zipper in the front of the skirt is still viable. As well as the button to close the skirt and the... Um, the buttons on the inside, I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Okay, so the button right here is still viable. These, these are still viable, both of them. And also the zipper and the pockets. Only part I've sewn on the pocket so far was like this part where there's already thread. And this part, I did get a little bit right there in the pocket, but that's okay because as you can see right here, there's no difference. Yeah. So yeah, and that's where we are right now. I'll show you what the skirt looks like at the state that it's at after I finish sewing the, this chain on to the skirt, the chain that we were just working on. Turn louder than loud, I don't wanna hear these voices I just wanna see crowds and I 